What's up guys, Timba Kevin here, welcome to the new video. Every day I feel great, great. get all the girls more drank. drank. I cannot buy it was fake, 3D lens on my shades, fashion looking so great. So yeah guys, in the last video we did, we showed you guys all the best equipment to have in your home gym. Now this is equipment you can get over the counter at any sports warehouse or order them online. So today we're going to take a closer look at one of those pieces of equipment and that is the dip bars. Now the dip bars are one of the most accessible pieces of equipment. They're almost in every gym and now they're putting them in parks as well. So if you want to get started on your calisthenics movements, this is a good way to start. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what you can do on here right now. So, because they are called the dip bars, we're going to start from the basics, which are the dips. So, for some good tricep dips, you just have to lean into the bar and just get your body straight, and then you can start dipping. Yeah, with that, you can unlock so much strength in your triceps. This is actually one of my favorite tricep exercises. But of course, with anything in calisthenics, because we can't change weights and stuff, we have to change difficulty levels. And one way to change the difficulty levels of the bars when you're doing your tricep dips is by doing what we call the tuck planche. Now with the tuck planche, you just planche into the dip bars, lift your bum, and then you can superimpose that with some tuck planche dips. Check this out. Oh yeah, and if you can't do that just yet, don't worry, there are a few progression exercises you can do to get there, but the dips are definitely one way to start maximizing on your dip bars. Straight from that, we're going to jump into one of the staples of calisthenics, which is the L-sit. Now you can either do the L-sit like this with your forearm grip, it's quite cool, superimposed with a tug, kicks, kick that way, you know, do some flatter kicks. That's some the core exercises. You have quite a big range of the L sit. But if you just simply want to hold the L sit for calisthenics purposes, which we call the straight arm L sit, you have to do something like this. And that you can superimpose with the leg raises. When you're trying this move along with me, I'm sure you're feeling it right about now. One of the other benefits of this type of movement when you do them together is that they work on your endurance and your respiratory system. So it's almost some cardio as well if you're doing a circuit. Now, besides all the crazy core strengthening stuff, you can also do some rows which you know hit the back, hit the bicep a bit. Now for the rows, we're going to start off with the rows that you can do almost on any bar. So if you're doing the rows on the dip bars, right? You just have to get in there. These are called inverted rows. You just lift yourself up. There are various ways to increase difficulty on this, you know. If you have sort of a platform, a bench or anything, I usually use my cooler box. You can put your legs up on there. And if you're a bit more advanced, you can just tuck your body in and do some crazy rows. Say, with calisthenics, because you can't change up the weight, we usually change variations to make things easier and more difficult. So that goes the same for the rows. If you have a bar that is a different grip, or you're doing it on a pull-up bar, you can sort of roll like this. Lift your legs, put them on there. That's a nice variation. Killing some crazy back, some crazy bicep. But with calisthenics, like I said, because we don't change up the weight, we like to change up the variations and just hit as many body muscles as we can in different ways. So back to the tricep. If you want to do, <coughs> if you want to progress later into some crazy calisthenics, do stuff like the impossible dips, which comes from an L sit like this, and you just raise up the whole body like that. You gotta start somewhere, right? And a way that I found 
it's a good way to start is with an assisted call it impossible dip variation so just go like that just for, <clears throat> don't forget to put your forearms on the actual bar Just keep your form right. Don't fall into the bar like I did a few times. And you're pushing with your tricep. And you're unlocking this whole tricep head. But there's a few ways to do that. One of the more common gym moves to work the tricep is what we call the skull crush. Now here, you can have an easier variation of the skull crush. Just grip the bar like so. Lean in, keep your body straight. Push up. You got the scalp pressure, baby. But, you remember I talked talk to you about the variations. If you want to make it more difficult, just take the support of your knees. Keep your whole body up and try to do the straight body. Oh yeah, like I said, the variations baby. So that makes the scalp crusher a bit more difficult, more body weight. And you can switch up between this and the other ones just to get as much reps in as possible if you wanna, and to get as much weight as possible. Let me show you one of the variations you can do with this angle of the bar to touch your triceps. So you've got like sort of a high platform, right? You can almost get your optimum way to do your dips. So just go very deep, as much as you can, controlling the moves. And yeah, you just killed your tricep again. You killed your core, and you've killed some of your back and your bicep. So this is really full body stuff. But if you really want to kill them full body at the same time, you need to jump onto some dynamic exercises, which is what we're going to go to right now. Just make sure you're supporting these things correctly because they are a bit loose, you know. But those are just one of the cons of having movable dip bars. But there are so many benefits because you can do stuff like place them wherever you want, whenever you want. That's a full circuit right there that you can do a jazz master, the L sit, and the tug branch. Crazy stuff, right? <laughs> I know. But for me, one of the most beneficial things about having these guys has been the fact that I can use them to do some moves that I'd otherwise need parallels for or push up bars. And since I don't have either of those, I can just rely on these guys to practice my handstands. So these have made it much, much easier to practice my handstand. The grip is just better, and with the tuck planche, you can now raise your body up to get into the position properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, as you can see guys, the moves you can do on the single piece of equipment are almost endless. You've seen us do some tricep, some core, some bicep, some back, some compound exercises, all the way up to the handstand. So if I were you, I'd go get a piece of this equipment so I can get my calisthenics game up right now. Don't forget to smash, smash, smash the subscribe button, comment on the videos, tell me what you'd like to see, what you're finding helpful, and what videos you'd like me to do in the future. My name is Kevin, as you know, ideas guys, thanks for watching.